Hi, and welcome to Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. Today, we're going to play with the weather template and create our own personalized weather card. We'll start in 10 seconds. Before we go any further, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Thank you very much, your support really means a lot. And now, let's get cracking with today's video. In today's video, we will be playing with the weather template. So, what's the general idea? If you look currently in the Home Assistant integrations, there are tons of sources for the weather information. But maybe none of them suits you. So, for example, you may have noticed that Dark Sky has the best forecast for your area. And that maybe AccuWeather gives you detailed information about the pressure. But you also have external sensors to your home or apartment, such as temperature sensor, humidity sensor, maybe even wind direction and the speed sensor. So, how can you create your own card that would reflect all the data sources that you want to put into your system and show you personalized weather card for your area, your apartment, your house, your garden, whatever, combined with the other data. In the Home Assistant 2021.3, new integration has been introduced and this integration is called Weather Template. And this allows you to create weather integration that is specific to your own needs or your own location. For me, I have Dark Sky here, AccuWeather here, and this one is combination of multiple sensors. It gives information about temperature, air pressure, humidity. These are all data from the sensors that are third-party sensors, meaning Shelly's, ESP boards, etc. Then I have information about the wind and visibility. This is pulled from the standard sources, let's call them like that. And then we have forecast, which forecast, of course, is also pulled from one of those systems. I also did specify the ozone level, but this one is currently still not working. So I'll have to play with that. So what do you need in order to get the weather template in your Home Assistant? You only need to add it to your configuration YAML file. And it's very easy. So let's get cracking with it. First things first, let's check what data sources we have in our Home Assistant. Developer tools. Let me check temperature. For the temperature, I have living room, optimal temperature, but this one is binary sensor, so I'll not be using it. We have AccuWeather. Then we have bathroom sensor, which also is not a good reference point. And there are my hygro boards. There are a couple of hygro boards that I kept outside of my apartment, so I will be using those. For this temperature, I will not be using cherry tomatoes. I will be picking up this one, because this one is in shade. So even during the summer, it should give me the exact current outside temperature. Okay, so this will be our external temperature. Let's see for the humidity. Bathroom humidity once again, not that good. For this, let's for example, select Shelly humidity and temperature sensor. So this will be our humidity sensor. Let's see what we have from the pressure. I think that the only pressure sensor I have from all the hygro boards is this one. Yes, this is the one. Then let's look what weather systems we have. We have three of them. We have AccuWeather, Dark Sky, and this one. This one is provided by the mat.no. Meteorologist Institute from the Norway. We have AccuWeather. And we have Dark Sky. So here is more or less everything we need to set up this card. And for the last sensor, let's just check if we have ozone or not. So we have current ozone level. So we will try also to pull this one. Okay, let's go to our Visual Studio Code or any YAML editor that you like to use. Let's search for weather. We already have platform dark sky here. 
So we will be just adding additional weather platform here and this file will be called template. Let's add here comment, weather template. There are a couple of fields that are mandatory, a couple of values that are mandatory. First, let's start with the platform definition. Minus platform and it will be template. Next mandatory field is name and we will call this my weather. The third field is not mandatory, but I really do recommend because it helps your system in the long run. This is unique ID. Unique ID allows the system to recognize that this is a unique sensor. If you do not have unique ID, the system itself may think that this is a different sensor and each time create additional entities or things like that. So unique ID is a good thing. Let's try and generate UID. This is unique ID. If you cannot create unique ID this way to generate UUID, you can simply tie here random numbers. The first data we are going to pull is condition. And for this, we are going to use condition template. Condition template is something that I was really thinking of how to implement without pulling from the known sources, for example, dark sky, aqua weather, meta.no or things like that. But unfortunately, I didn't think of something useful here. So we will be going to pull this value from one of the sources we already have. Uh, for example, I will be using dark sky for this one. So what you have to do here is pull the state's value of that weather sensor. And this is done like this. Open quotes, state, bracket, single quote, weather, dark sky, close single quote, close bracket, space, and we close these brackets here. This is easy because here we are pulling direct state. But later on, we will be also pulling attributes. The string for that is a little bit longer, but it's also easy to write and implement. The next sensor we'll be defining now is the temperature sensor. And for the temperature sensor, I will be pulling data from my hygro board that is outside in the shade. Temperature. Template. Once again, we will be repeating the same thing. Open quotes, states, bracket, single comma, and I will paste the name of the sensor here. Close quote, close bracket, and close this bracket here. So now we have defined condition template that we pulled from the weather dark sky. We have provided temperature sensor. And the next thing that we need to provide is humidity. Humidity. Template. As I said, I will be pulling humidity value from the Shelly humidity and temperature sensor. So this is once again, quote, bracket states, bracket, single quote, and I will paste here the name of the sensor, paste it here, close single quote, close bracket, this typo here, and these are the only mandatory fields that you need to put here. If we would restart Home Assistant now and add weather card, you would see a weather card with this data but we want to add more data because we have more sources. So let's continue. Next, we'll be pulling forecast data. Forecast one is a little bit different, but it's not that hard. Let's open quote. Because forecast data is not inside the sensor directly, it's attribute of the sensor, so we need to pull the attribute. It's a states dot weather dot accuweather 
We will be using AccuWeather for this one. Attributes dot forecast. Let's close this. And this should be it. So we are now pulling the forecast from the weather, AccuWeather attributes called forecast. The next thing that we will add is a pressure. And for pressure, I will be using once again the hygro board to one of the hygro boards that have BME sensor on them. And this is the only board with the BME 280 sensor and I'll be pulling pressure from that board. Quote bracket states open the bracket single quote paste the name of the sensor close quote close bracket and close this bracket too so we now have pressure template next we will be creating wind speed and wind bearing and unfortunately i do not have external sensors for that so i will be using dark sky data for this one it will be wind speed template and once again this is attribute so let me open quote and i will be pasting here the name of the sensor this is the states.weather.darksky.attributes.windspeed let's close this bracket and we still need wind bearing template once again open quote states weather dark sky fix this typo here attributes wind bearing close this so we still have two additional values that we can specify one is ozone level and i will once again try to put to pull data here this will be states single quote let me just and here bracket and this one and the last one is visibility i will be also pulling the dark sky information here so this will be visibility template quote so this one will be states dot weather dot dark sky dot attributes dot visibility let's close this and there is still one thing we have to do. We have to fix something. All those sensors that have values, this is temperature, humidity, pressure, and zone level. These should use float. I'm not the best person to describe this, but float is needed so it can prepare the holder for the data for numerical values. For example, 0, .00. At, Let me add this here. Float. Float float and ozone level also be float. Okay, this should be it. Let's now save this. And if everything is correct, we should go to configuration, server control, check configuration and restart our home assistant. If you did like this video so far, I really would appreciate if you'd give it a thumbs up, because it not only means a lot to me, but it also helps the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Let's wait for everything to finish uploading, because we need data from multiple sensors for this to work. Let's go to overview, weather, Edit dashboard, add card, type here weather. 
And here it's already pre-selected. This is the card or this is the template, weather template we just created. Save this. And as you can see, we now have dark sky information. We have AccuWeather and we also have MyWeather. If we click here, this is the data that has been pulled from the multiple sensors. Unfortunately, also the ozone is not visible here. I think that this is something related to the formatting of the data. But nevertheless, we also have temperature here. This is the one pulled from my Hygro external sensor. Air pressure also, full, also pulled from the temperature sensor outside. Humidity, the data still hasn't populated, but this will be populated with the data from the Shelly humidity and temperature sensor. Wind speed and wind bearing are pulled from the dark sky. Visibility is also pulled from the dark sky. Forecast is pulled from the dark sky. And I think this one is full pulled from the AccuWeather. And this is how you create a weather template or use weather template to create your own weather information pulled from the data from various sources that can also be your own sensors. If you have external weather station, you can combine the data from this external weather station with the data from the public sources such as AccuWeather, DarkSky, Met.no, etc. And this is it for this Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Thinker. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. If you have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video or any previous video I did, you can always find me on the Discord server and the link to Discord server is down in the comment section below. But feel free to leave comment down in the comment section below. Still haven't subscribed? Please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified in the future updates. Of course, if you like this video, please give me a like. As I said, it doesn't only mean a lot to me and I really do appreciate it, but it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.